Hi Best Buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden and I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today we're going to make a tall envelope pamphlet. But first, let's have our shout out to Lori, Black Coffee, Kelly, Daggy, Dina, Donna, and Alina. I appreciate each and every one of you. So, in our digital kits that we get, sometimes we get these beautiful envelopes. This one happens to be a tall envelope from Chapter 1 Papers. I absolutely think it's gorgeous. And I got to thinking, why can't we use these instead of a traditional envelope that you get in a box that's plain white? But if you don't have something like this, of course, you can use one of those envelopes. You would just want to probably either ink it up really well, coffee dye it, or possibly even collage on it. But today we're going to use one of these envelopes. So this happens to come, they happen to have two different styles, colors, and decoration. This one and this one. I want this one to be my cover. So I am going to place it down first. This is a smaller little flap right here. I'm going to put it towards my right hand side. And I'm going to place this one. This one seems to have the flaps the same. I think this is more like a seed envelope and this is a side tuck envelope. We're going to marry them together. I'm going to take one side and I'm going to slip it right inside or actually just lay it right on, on top right here. So the other envelope flap is on the outside. So let's do that again. The envelope that you want to be on your cover, you're going to place down first on your right, on your left hand side. I'm sorry, on your left hand side. You could then take your second envelope and you're going to take the flap area. You could maybe even hold it up like this and you're going to place it right in the crease of this one so that this flap is on the inside and then there's a flap on the outside. So what I'd like to do is go ahead and glue these two together. <clears throat> now I'm only going to glue this flap here down onto this envelope. So adding my glue and I'm using my art glitter glue I'm going to attach my two envelopes together and I'm going to bend it up just to make sure I get it in the spot I want it in making sure it's fitting completely so everything closes so now I have the two envelopes glued together this one is not glued yet I think what I might like to do here is just glue these two sides right here and glue it down making ourselves another tuck spot right here. So let's do that. Let's glue this down right here and right here. All right, so we've got that finished. Now let's turn it back over and I'd like to cover the inside a little bit. I've got a couple of digitals here. I'm kind of thinking I like, I like this. So what I want to do, and you know how I like to just kind of glue it down and then go back and trim it out. I think that's exactly what I want to do in this instance as well. So I'm simply, I'm simply going to turn in my flaps. I'll remove this so you can see what I'm doing. I'm turning in my flaps, turning them in inward, because this is the area in which I would like to cover. There we are. I would like to cover this area right here. I'm just making sure it's all pressed down. I do think I want this one. And so all I'm going to do is take my glue and I'm going to place my glue over the top just like this. 
just in the area in which I want that paper to stick. I'm going to see if I can find what the name of this paper, where I got it from. I can't remember off the top of my head. So I will check to see if I can find that. And I'm just going to place it right on top. I barely covered that area right there. But I did. But barely, not really. Okay, I did a terrible job. Let's try that again. No, I still did the same thing. This paper, I must have cut it crooked. Yeah, I must have cut my paper crooked. There, much better job. Third charm, the third time's a charm, right? <laughs> Hopefully there's enough glue left. Alrighty. Now, I'm simply going to take my scissors and I'm going to trim it out. I think I'll start over here. Actually, that looks pretty sticky since I've picked it up and put it down. <laughs> oh, may you get it wrong. Just keep trying. It will eventually work out for you. Okay, so trimming it out, like I said, I just find this to be easier for me because, as you can see, even using a whole sheet, I can't get it on to fit. <laughs> so if I'm cutting it perfectly and then trying to get it to go back on the correct way, well, yeah, well, that just isn't going to happen for me. <laughs> so I just find it much easier to do it this way. Alrighty, so trimming it out. Here it goes a little... There's a little bump in the road right here. The envelopes don't fit perfectly. One's just a tiny bit bigger than the other one. That's okay. We're going to make it work anyway. It's not that big of a difference that you can really tell. Alrighty, so here we are. We've got that covered. Now, I'm not going to fold it right this second because you know what happens when you fold wet paper it just it just changes everything I was thinking that I might like to add this on the sides and I do think there's it will fit there's plenty of room yeah well not plenty but there's room that that will fit right there on the edge so let's do the exact same thing and take our glue and simply place the glue onto the area that we want to cover and then lay the paper of our choice on top. You could use book pages, you could use digitals, you could leave it plain. If you like that, maybe you just want to add some stamps to it and do some stamping. You could do lots of things there. I'm just choosing to cover it with this right here. So laying it down. There we are. Just making sure it's nicely attached and trimming it out. Okay. Goodness gracious, come on now. Here we are. And then right here. Perfect. That looks really nice together, doesn't it? I'm going to go ahead and fold this right here, making sure, yeah, that's going to be fine. Now, we're going to take this one, and I'd like to place it this way, right here on this end. So, doing the exact same thing, and I'm going to get my glue and just place it on the area in which I'm going to cover. Just like that. And then taking my choice of paper and simply laying it right on top. I'm pulling it off of it just a little bit if I put it too awful close to my other paper, when I go to fold it, it could bind on me or bunch up or 
even fold over if it's over just a little bit. I don't want that to happen, so pulling it away from it helps that. Not so much that you can see that it's pulled away, but just so it will fold nicely. And simply trimming it out. Okay. Let's get this side trimmed. Just like that. All right, hopefully this is dried enough and we can go ahead and fold this right here. Just creasing it as I slowly fold it, hopefully not leaving any extra wibbles or walls in my paper. Now I'm going to need, let's check it out. Yeah, it's looking good. I'm going to need my bone folder, and I've got it over here, and I'm just going to really press it down. Let's check it again. We're good. This has a little bit of a wobble in it, obviously. It should have been glued a little differently. So let's see if we can fix that right here. We might need to take it up. I have to fix that. Why is that crooked? There, it was glued down crooked. So as you can see, I pulled it up, made a little marked mark. It's going to be okay. We'll cover it up with something in the meantime. I'll ink it up a little bit. I won't glue this side down until we're finished. That's a good point. You might not want to glue these down until we get finished. So let's check this out again. This is my cover and it's just going to go around like this. Okay, pulling these up. I can see that I need to trim that maybe. I need to trim this. No, nope, it's going to be okay. How about this? That's going to be okay too. Alrighty, that looks super cool. Now, what I think I want to do here, I'm going to ink this up with my vintage photo. I actually think I might take it to my machine and sew it. You know how I love to sew paper. I'm going to have to be extremely careful when I get to this part right here. In fact, I guess I will tack it right now because when I sew it, it's going to catch this part and I want to make sure that it's flat and not puckered. And being loose, it might have gotten puckered. So um, I decided to glue that down. Then you can see where I pulled that out. We'll fix that little tiny spot right there. We'll put something there and get it all fixed up. So I'm going to sew it and finish inking it. I need to ink it on this side and then we'll continue. All right, so I have inked all the way around and I have sewn with my machine with some black thread. The next thing what I want to do with these little flaps, they're the envelope flaps. And what I would like to do is bring in some coffee dyed ribbon right here. I just dropped a piece of ephemera. Let me grab it. Okay, I've got it. So I've got some coffee dyed ribbon. And what I want to do is I want to make a belly band. Now, I just think I'm going to attach it underneath here. I'm trying to think, do I actually want it to be double or do I just want it to be single? Um, might be kind of cool to do it double. So let's go ahead first and let's attach it right here. If I do it single, I'm going to attach it here and here. That would be double. Let's do it double. Let's do something different. Let's go ahead and this is the middle. So let's attach it right here. So I'm simply adding my hot glue and then laying my ribbon down on the hot glue. Just like that. And attaching it. 
going to be pulling it up. We're going to be attaching it to this side. So I'm simply going to trim off my ribbon. I'm going to give myself a little bit of extra. Okay. I'm going to go back down here where I was. I'm going to further anchor this completely so it's flat. My ribbon is flat. There we are. And line it up again. That's the middle, that dotted line. So I'm going to add my ribbon right here and simply laying it on top of the hot glue and getting it as straight as I can. There we are. So I'm making sure it's really glued down well here. Now let's pull it up. First let's, um, I guess we need to trim it. So I'm going to trim it using the other one as a guide. There we are. Let's go ahead and I think what we shall do is let's glue this down right here, this flap. So adding my hot glue on and I'm just going to glue it shut. Making sure these are straight. There we go. That's something different. Alrighty, turn it around and let's just glue this right straight onto the back. So I'm going to glue it right here, not on here, but on here. Pulling it tight so that what I put in a, underneath the belly band will remain firm. I said I'm not putting it there, I'm putting it here. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing for this one. Lining it up and then just adding my hot glue. I keep putting it in the wrong spot. It's okay. It'll fold over. Here we are, and then we're going to fold this over, just like this, yeah. fold it over, make sure I can kind of crease this well, fold this over, adding my hot glue, which I need another hot glue stick, here we are. There we are. Now there's a belly band. Oh my goodness, that is super cool. I'm going to have to fold that to get it in, but that's super cool. Alrighty, so we're going to do the exact same thing to this side. So I'm going to, once again, add my add my uh, hot glue. I'm just thinking guys, sorry. I had to think there. Okay, here we are. There's the freshly cut in. We'll add our hot glue onto here and right here, right down this line right here, and adding our ribbon. Pulling it down. So we get to the other end and I'm just going to trim it off and give myself some room. Okay, doing the exact same thing on the other or the other one and adding my hot glue right here and then adding my ribbon. Okay, trimming it off. Pulling it and trimming it. There we go. Now, 
we're simply going to line it up again and glue. We're going to glue this down first, yeah. Gluing our strip down first. Okay. There we go. Pulling it down, lining it up, and it's here and here. So, adding my glue, pulling it, adding my glue, and pulling it, pulling my ribbon. Because you want your ribbon to be not so tight it, you know, has a problem, but you want it to be firm. You don't want it to be loose because you're going to want it to hold things underneath your belly band. Adding my glue onto my flap. And there we have our belly bands. Okay, getting my glue off of here. Alrighty. Goodness gracious, that looks pretty super cool. Let's decorate while we're in here. I've got a little bit, uh, a few little labels here. Uh, let's see here, maybe a label inside would look nice. I also have, goodness gracious, what did I do with it? I've got butterflies, but I thought I had my, let me hang on and see where on earth did I put it? Hang on. All right, so I've got my roses here. I just thought these happen to be shabby dabby doodah roses. That might be pretty to put there. And then maybe a smaller label down here might be really sweet. Oh, I do think that's pretty. So I think what I want to do is just ink this up right here by simply running my sponge over papers. Just giving it a little of that antique -y look to match my other look. This label has already been um, inked and it is a Tracy Fox label. So switching, I think, I think I can go ahead and do it like that. I'm not going to glue it down to here. I'm going to just glue it on my flap. So just said I wasn't going to glue it on there. Oh, glue it right here. Okay, that's very pretty. And how about a little bit right down here? Okay, and I think we're really going to need, shall we put some stuff inside? I also have a little bit of lace here. Oh, that might be kind of cool to put some lace on. Oh, that is super cool. Let's put a little bit of lace right there. Um, I've got some that type of lace, and then I've got this smaller lace. I think I want it this way. So I'm going to add just a little bit of lace down here. This has turned out to be extremely vintage. I mean, seriously, vintage. And then let's pucker this. Let me move this out of the way. Let's turn this sideways. We're going to do a, we don't have much room, but let's pucker a little bit in the middle. So I'm just going to pucker a little bit right here. And then maybe a little bit on the side. Right like that. Just a little little bit of puckering and then I've got a little bit of room right here that I can pucker maybe just a little bit right here and then I need to glue this down in between and then a little bit in between there oh my goodness that looks cool right look at that I love that Alright, now I think it's time to add some things inside. 
trying to get this glue off my finger. So this one's too wide. So how about if we fold it in half? Now these right here, these are from the Junk Journal Studio. And I just printed off quite a few and coffee dyed them the other day. And I think I'm going to go underneath all of it. I don't think I want to weave it in and out or anything like that. And here's another one. Oh, it goes this way. <laughs> yeah, that's really super cool. I like the white and then I like the cream together. That's nice. Of course, you can add all kinds of things. These are labels and these are from, now I always say this wrong. Where did I write it down? Aldelche Scrap Annie. I'll list it down below. It's bigger than this one, so I think I'll put it underneath. And items used, I'll, I'll put it down below. Let's put this one on the top. Maybe like this. We have plenty of room. How about that? Yeah, we have plenty of room. That's super cool. That is super cool. All right, let's see, does it fold? Once I fold this in, does it all fold? Or is it still too wide? No, it all folds up. All righty, let's see here. Let's fold this up. Do we want it to fold like that? Or do we want to fold it like this? If we fold it like this, then that makes our pocket that we made right here on the front. Now these are also chapter one tags. We could stick some chapter one tags in here. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's pop a hole in these tags right here and add a little bit. I have coffee dyed already or if we don't do that, and we just use our coffee dyed ribbon here, how about if we just do like this and not uh, put a hole in it? I just fray in it just a little bit. I need the smaller scissors here. Just giving it a good fray. Let's see if we could just pop it right on here like this. Yeah, I think that would be better. And then that way, a little bit of glue, and just lay it down, just like that. And then we put a little bit more glue underneath there. All right, so the back is coffee dyed. And so now we've got this. That looks great. And I think I'd like to do two of them. So let's just do that. And I think I'd like to, let me just pull it apart maybe. I just want to make it look kind of worn. Oh, this is a tiny one. I didn't leave myself much space on this one. But that's okay. We can still get away with using it. We don't have to have a lot of ribbon for our, oh, pull. In fact, probably the less the better for this because it's sticking inside. Do we want a label down here maybe? I'm not sure. How about a label going this way? That's kind of cool. Do we want one of um, one of the no that's the wrong color to that color that we were using. Here's that one. Or maybe over here. I don't want to put too much because it's already getting pretty. I kind of like that there. I do like this one here going that way. Oh, wait. This is where that got messed up right down there. All right. So how about if we do this? What happens if we fold our label like that? If we fold our label, I folded it crooked. Let me fold it straight. Hold our label. That's better. And stick it like, come on, Kathy, get your fingers to work. Like that. That covers that problem area that we had. How's it look on the other side? 
we could trim it or maybe we could not fold it so much here I'm sticking it underneath the lace right here there it needs to be it needs to be folded a little bit just a little not so much and then flip it right there yeah because then that's going to be fine on that side and then that's going to fix that problem where it got torn all right so a little bit of glue and popping it right on right here making sure we get this covered oh it's kind of fiddly right but we can do it there and there pressing it down so that's going to how it's going to look on this side and then we turn it over and it looks like that on this side that's perfect i need a little bit of ink just to ink that up a little bit oh my goodness that looks great okay so now we're here now let's see do we want to add any more of these flowers i've already got a, quite a few flowers i think what we need is a little bit of lace i need a big paper clip to hold this closed how long is this going oh it's not too awful bad let's go ahead and put a piece of lace right here i think that would that's really pretty it's sweet that's the word it's very sweet right there and let's go ahead and get that down so adding my glue once again it's the hot glue quick easy great for videos it down. I want it to come over the edge here a little bit more. Kind of wobbled right there, but that's okay. Smooth it out. Get it on there like that. And there we go. Oh goodness, that's very, very sweet. I like that a lot. All right, that's how that's looking. You can see that on there. Now let's see, what else do we want on here? I do have some butterflies. I do think that maybe we can either tie it with our... Let's go ahead and see about that. it with this I'm thinking maybe if we just tie it a little bit and possibly put a little bigger piece of ribbon on it I'm not sure I've got some labels I've got some butterflies. I've got a frame. That's kind of cool. Even this way is kind of cool. And maybe a butterfly up here. Something like that. I'm not sure. I've got three. I could put three on here. It might be overkill. All right, I got to think about this, guys. I'm not sure what I want to do. I have the what? The lace? The wax seal? The lace seal? The wax seal? I've got some um, safety pins. I've got a dark pink. I've got a light pink. I've got a black and a blue. Oh, this light pink is pretty glue all over my fingers again how about if we pop um, got bling I've got an enamel dangle where did that go here's the enamel dangle that's sweet how about if we put that won't fit 
this blue one. I like the enamel one best. I thought I was going to put that that bead on there. I've probably got some other beads over here. Let me look for a bead. I need a bead on here. All right, you guys, getting the bead, I kind of went off on another idea. So I think I'm going to put a label going this way with the butterfly. So let's go ahead and let's get that down. So adding my glue to my label and just laying it down there. And then I've already inked up my butterfly and I'm just going to have it flying like that. Now, of course, we're going to want some kind of bling on the butterfly, but back to the, the pin. I've got my enamel flower with three light pink seed beads on it. And then what happens if we put a hole in a uh, seal? Uh, there's pink, there's blue, there's blue, there's pink. I kind of like this oblong one. Let's just see if we can get a hole in it. I don't know. Uh, probably not a big hole. Let's try. Well, it punched right through. Okay, so we've got that punched through. Now let's just see what's it going to look like. Oh my goodness, that's super cool. Okay, let's see about pinning it onto our closure. We could either do that or pin it onto the ribbon, the lace, I mean. Oh my goodness, we can remove this. Oh goodness, that's cute, isn't it? Now, do we want this bling here? Or do we want, like this, or do we want the pearls? Nope, I think we want the the darker bling and I'm thinking I just want maybe one of those on the body yeah just one on the body so I'm trimming it off let's get it on the body here that's so cool that the wax seal has a butterfly and then we've got the butterfly on there as well so that works together oh that turned out super cool, didn't it, you guys? I love it. <laughs> you guys have got to give this a try. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.